afternoon, folks. How you doing today? This is the Real Life Real Estate Investing Show, where we talk about real life real estate situations, but we bring you real life real estate solutions. I'm your host, Glenn Glasper, affectionately known as Mr. Dial Out of a Dime. And my esteemed guests today are Superman, Mr. Uh, Andy Arrieta. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, and uh, I guess the, the other superhero would be Mr. Caleb Ford. Superhero. Superhero. <laughs> Superheroes yeah. of real estate investing. Uh, and we're going to be talking about some real good stuff today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I want to thank you guys for being here today. Thank you for having us. You know, uh, it, it is always an awesome opportunity to be able to sit with people of like minds and share like ideas and things like that. And I've watched you guys, your guys' journey, and it has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, and uh, and that's, that's what we're going to get into today. Uh, so, guys, listen, for those of you that are watching, go ahead and start sharing it right mm -hmm. now. Prepare your questions now. We want to make sure we get your questions answered. Uh, that we're going to be here for an for hour. So be sure to go ahead and send your questions in. We want to make sure we pick the brains of these yeah. guys that are actually doing some major stuff. Yeah. I asked them, I said, what you guys got going on? To, you know, they said, we got a closing. I said, today? They said, yeah, we got, what, two today or see, one today? See, see the funny, one today, <laughs> the funny thing is that we, we were at uh, Maher's event yesterday. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, we're talking about the closing, another closing for today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, our investor was there and we're like, yo, no, 1.30. And Caleb's like, we can't make it at 1.30. We're going to do the show. We'll never make it. I'm just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. So tell the folks who you are, man. Tell the folks who you are and what you do. Awesome. So my name, you know, for those that don't follow, that don't, that don't know me yet, uh, my name is Andy Arrieta. You know, I've been in the real estate game for about two years. Um, met Caleb also uh, within the last two years as well. We hit it off. Um, I'm just, you know, being honest, I can't do this real estate alone. And if it wasn't for Caleb, I probably wouldn't even be here as well because we, I mean, this guy right here has my back 100% and I know he has my back. Absolutely. You know, uh, a little bit about me, you know, I used to ha I used to work at a six-figure job. Long story short, that didn't work out. And I said, all right, you know, I have some money stacked in the bank. Mm -hmm. And I said, what am I going to do next? Yeah. You know, what's the next move? Because that's it. That's going to be my next. I cannot work for anybody else. And I said, you know what? I've always wanted to learn real estate. And mm -hmm. at that point, it's got Rafa Argueta invited me over to uh, Don Jacobs' meetups. Yeah and, yeah. and I was so excited and hungry that I was like, okay, I got the money. I can chill for the next six months to a year and I'm okay, but I need to do something. I want to do something now. Yeah. Long story short, fast forward it. Got a first deal within 45 days. Uh, first deal I did with Rafa, 45 days. Don Jacobs had a lot to do with, you know, the mentorship and what he had put on there at that point. Good stuff, and good stuff. from then on, I said, shit, this is $3,000 check is real. Yeah. <laughs> now let's rock, you know? And then from then on, we just hit it off, and it's been, it's been a great journey. Right. Great, oh, absolutely. Great journey. Great journey. Good stuff. Good stuff. You know, I, I want to go back to, to some of our history, too. We, you know, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that one. <laughs> Tell the folks who you are, Mr. Caleb. All right. So a little bit about me, Caleb Ford. I uh, guess I've been doing real estate for about two years now. I um, actually introduced to real estate from a good friend of mine, uh, Patrick Henderson. And, uh, and how I really found out about real estate was uh, he um, posted a video on Facebook. Learn how to do real estate with little or no money down. And at that time, I always thought you had to have, you know, money to do real estate. Because mm -hmm. I always had a passion and wanted to learn. But I figured, you know, I'll, I'll work a job for a little bit of time. And uh, so I can be able to stack up some money to start investing in real estate. Mm -hmm. But um, real estate wholesaling, that's what me and Annie been doing for the last uh, two years. You actually don't have to have a whole bunch of money down to get started. And it's kind of the, I guess, the starter point. I almost couldn't even believe it. Yeah. <coughs> I guess the starter point <laughs> in real estate, you know, it's good to learn, you know, wholesaling before you start getting into fixing and flipping but uh but also um a little bit more about me i actually was in school chiropractic school and i finished you know before i started learning about real estate and you know i went to, been in school career student went to school for eight years and um i actually have a, a doctoral degree in chiropractic still manage the office up in marietta but um i always had a passion for real estate and the Atlanta market is very, very hot right now. Real estate market in general is hot right now, so it's just a great opportunity to jump in and take advantage and just ride the wave. But um, so, so listen, I, I'm gonna I'm a lean into this a little bit. You know, they they was real smooth with the introduction. This guy said he left a six-figure job, and then we—he just said he has a doctoral degree in chiropractic. So, so, see, this is <laughs> this is some real stuff right here. <laughs> it gets no realer than that. So after we get finished, I'm gonna lay down on the floor so you can you know, <laughs> get that yeah. adjustment. <laughs> hey, you know, Send your invoice. <laughs> you know, you know, ninety percent of you know, at least in my income right now, give or take, is wholesaling. 
Mm. You know, whole city, mm. we become badasses at it, if I may say. Yeah. Uh, we're still yeah. learning. Absolutely. And we Absolutely. still learn, and, and we figure out new ways uh, to obtain the deals mm -hmm. as far as, you know, as far as the calls go, uh, what to say, what not to say. I mean, I've tried and tri trial and error a ton of stuff. Yes. And, yes. you know, if people want to pick our brains, I don't know if we'll give out too many deep no, <laughs> 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 Only because I respect right. you, know, and, and I admire you we'll a lot. We'll drop some knowledge. We'll <laughs> drop some knowledge, we'll show you guys some stuff. Um, you know, we're always looking for uh, hard, pe you know, hardworking people that 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 want to learn real estate and we're not here to teach per se right this second because it takes focus but those that want to line up with us and, and would like to learn something you know learn but also be part of what we're doing cool but you know we're not doing mentoring programs right now per right. se mm -hmm. it takes mm -hmm. so much we're time, working on it. we're we are putting a program together it, i mean we take a few people under our wing right now and we actually helped Quite a few people close some deals. That's good stuff. We can talk can about you, that. Can y'all help me? Can I? <laughs> y'all take, take me under y'all <laughs> wing? <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I, I want to give a little bit of history. Uh, me and Eddie, we actually we were just talking about this yesterday. Yes. We met, man. That had to be what, like four, four or five, five years ago? Five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Four yeah. Five years ago. Uh, we met at, a, at an event yeah. where uh, Les Brown had come. Les Brown, I think it was uh, Susie Orman. Yeah, like and, the real estate investing summit or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a major event, and uh, we met, and you know, we talked, we hit it off, had a really good conversation. Yeah. And I had a picture of where I took a picture of the back of your shirt. <laughs> I said, you know, I was going through those pictures. I was yeah, telling you yesterday. Yeah. I was like, man, that's where I originally met him. Yeah. You know, and I think you were telling me about that's where you saw the business card the that business I gave you. The business card that you gave me. And then I'm like, huh, I already know this. Gonna, <laughs> they, I already know how these folks come. They come get your car. They get your deal like these same people that just did the, uh, you know, the yeah, car or whatever. Yeah. But, I, but, I kept, but I kept it because it was a cool-ass card. Very cool card. Thank you. Unique, thank you. and I'm like, cool. So I kept it. Mm -hmm. You know, months later, nine months, ten months later, almost a year later. Yeah. You know, fast forward, you know, the story about this, you know, my job, all that stuff. I run into the real estate. Great. And now they're talking about, hey, how to build a buyer's list. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. they're saying, well, another way is meeting, meeting investors, me going to these networking events, grabbing the business cards, calling mm -hmm. them and say, hey, what are you? What's your criteria? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm an investor, too. I got properties, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like. Oh shit! You know that's when I got. So I went back. I found I found your card, and I said, "All right, I'm gonna give him a call." He looked like a big dog. <laughs> and every time I, you know, I was so young and so learning that I was scared. It's oh, normal. Wow. It's normal to be scared. Wow. And I would go try to pick up the phone to call, and I'm like, "No, I don't know, no, no, no." But but look, you know, long and behold, through the events and everything, I got to know you, and it mm -hmm. was just, it's just been it's just been awesome, man. You've been you've been you played a lot in in my learning, and a lot of the conversations Thank that we've you. had have Thank really you. helped me out a lot. Well, you know, let me let me let me give you some some uh, kudos. So, I first started this real life real estate investing show a little over a year ago. Oh yeah, right. I and uh, you know, my first guest I think was Keto Johnson, mm -hmm. and then Ramon Tukes, and you were my third the guest. Third okay. And when we sat down, we sat down. You know, we were sitting on by the lake, you know, and having a you conversation. Yeah, man, it was it was great. And you know, you taught me a lot of stuff during that that show when we had that yeah. that show. What we talked about. Um, we of course we talked about real estate investing sure. and things like that. But y'all remember we had I had just the iPad sitting there and I would have to go up to the screen and read the I iPad. Remember. And the people said we can't hear you because we were sitting by the lake. Olivia. And he said, "Wait, I have some microphones." Yeah. And then from that point, you know, you tell me about the microphones and how to get, you know, the more views and things like yes. that. So I've been using a lot of those things. Awesome. Like, I mean, you see what we have now. I got a couple of different this devices. This <laughs> I feel like I'm going to talk shows for real. Like, yeah. This is great. You know, this is great. This is great. And uh, I said, wait a minute. I have to get the microphones. I got to get lights, yeah. you know. So and now we're, we're actually in, in what we're considering a studio this now. Is great. This is great. You know, so it's, it, you know, a lot of that, you know, you played a major part in a lot of that. That's why I want to thank you for at least inspiring me to continue to do this because there have been several times yeah, I said, you know, I'm Appreciate not going to do it. <laughs> 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 but uh, it's, been, it's been a great ride. So tell us a little bit about what you guys, I mean, so we talked about a little of your history. Uh, tell me a little bit about like current events and things like that. We got to showcase that that, that that brand you got on your arm. Real man. life real estate investment. See, if, if we was on the yes. show, we could actually zoom in. <laughs> uh, so tell me a little bit about you know how you guys got to where did you guys meet, and how did you forge this 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 you know like I said, it's amazing business relationship yeah. you have. How did you guys I forge that? Yeah, so yeah, how did that exactly. start? All right. So um, me and Andy was working for another mentor, mm -hmm. and you know. 
we was learning the business of real estate, going to weekly meetings, and it was some other seasoned investors been doing real estate for years and years, and you know we helped them close some deals. We was you know um, intricate in uh, in their su- success to mm-hmm. say, yeah. and uh, and usually in every relationship, mentor mentee relationship, you kind of you know get to the point where it's time to spread your wings and do your own thing. Definitely, definitely. Thankful mm-hmm. for the mentorship that they gave us, but it was time to you know really start uh cracking this thing in real estate. Good, so me good, and Andy good. got together um, about a year and a half ago and uh, and we just put together a system and we just believed that if we followed this system there was no way we couldn't be successful and ever since then we've been closing deals you know consist- yeah. consistently every single month. So that's good stuff. We've closed that's good stuff. you know one thing and that's great because one, one thing I do that we never mention really very hard that we mention is how much we make in fees. <laughs> Mm. Our, our first deal, mm. I mean, if every deal was like the first deal. The first deal was a unicorn, and, and that's a great, I was I was shocked. I was like, wow. And that was our first deal that we did. I said, this is mm. this is home run. Right. You know, we're talking about mm. a lot. Like <laughs> over <laughs> over $60,000 in wholesale fee. Wow. 70000 I wow. think. And that's that we bit ourselves in the foot because it was our first deal. We missed something, mm-hmm. and we had to eat up another ten grand. Wow! But, yeah. Wow! But either wow. way, either way, you know, I say that. And that was that was our first deal together. It was actually my first deal. I mean, it took me six months to close my first deal. And I always tell people, I mean, when you come in this business, you got to be patient, and you know, just put in the work. Mm. I mean, and follow the knowledge of your mentors of you know in in front of you. Me, I mean, when I first started, I would say it took me six months because you know I was egotistical. You know, was scared to ask for help. Well, mm. if I asked for help, I was asking for people who didn't have no more experience than me instead of coming to the top dogs. You know, I figured, oh, they're too busy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, top dog. Oh, yeah. I figured oh. they were too busy and, you know, uh, you know, I didn't want to take none of their time. But mm. what you got to realize in real estate is, you know, everybody in the room wants to make money. Yes. So I mean, if you have a deal, Absolutely. you know, have a hot lead, you know, hey, give, give these guys a call and let them know, hey, I got something. How can you help me out? Don't be afraid to, you know, share the wealth. I mean, we... We get, we're partnering with, you know, so many other investors, and it's not about, you know, being greedy or anything like that. I mean, it's about everybody eating and everybody winning yes. at the same time. Yes, yeah. Right. Good stuff, man, good stuff. You know, and that's that's the thing, that's the running theme of people that become successful at any business, you know, especially in real estate. I mean, because people have an idea of real estate. We were just talking about this a minute ago. People have an idea. They get this this glamorous idea of real estate being easy. Oh, definitely. And it's a, it's a quick... <laughs> You know, a get rich quick type of thing. Sure. Now, you know, I'm 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 all for getting rich quick. You mm-hmm. know, because well, yeah, you know who who would vote who for would getting quick, get rich slow. Right. <laughs> you know, but there there is a process. Absolutely. There is a process that we all go through. Absolutely. You know, as I was sharing with, with Caleb earlier, my first deal took me my real first real deal took me a whole year to complete. Yeah. Now. My first deal, I didn't make sixty thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> you know, I was just telling him I did actually make the salary of the job that I worked right. a year prior, which is only forty two thousand right. dollars. But still, it was a process to that. Yep. You know, and everything since then has been a process. Absolutely. You know, and and I think that's the misconception a lot of times. Like even from the concept of no money down, no credit. You know, when people hear that, that glamorizes the possibilities, and I'm open for the possibilities. Right. But at the same time. I still have to share with folks, yeah, you can do it with no money down. But it's, it's going to be somebody's money. Mm-hmm. It's going to be somebody's credit. Somebody's you know, time somebody's time. You know, Absolutely. And those are things I think a lot of people miss when they get started. And, and the thing, you know, a lot of people ask me, Handy, I want to get started in real estate. I said, look, I mean, I made a decision. Mm-hmm. Like, that's how I knew. I mean, just like anything, because it's hard. We've, we've lost a few deals where we're like, oh, we just, that, that's, we're like, well, what the hell just happened? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're some deals that we're currently fighting right now. There's mm. a house that we bought and just has title issues and we have money tied up in it. We're working on it. Mm. But it's been four or five months and now we're going to get into litigation and all that. Wow. And so wow. It's, it's, you know, you got to have the stomach for it. You got to have mm. the mindset. A lot of people yes. don't have built the mindset yet. So what happens is when the tough, when the going gets tough, they quit. You know, anybody mm. would have quit after six months, after a year, <laughs> way before that, you know, from doing the first deal. You know, with me, and, and I'll share this with you guys, if you ask me, Andy, what are two things that you can tell me right now that, have, that you know, because anything I touch, I promise you, and that's why I don't take on too many, I don't take on 
uh, a lot of side projects or really nothing. It's just as what I'm focused right now actually is real estate anyways. But when I do go into adventure, you know, I've done the credit restoration adventure. Mm -hmm. I've done network marketing. I've always killed it in these companies. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. always killed it at anything, I, at anything I do because there's two things that I apply always. One, I become obsessive with learning and knowing everything that needs to, mm. that, that everything I need to know about what I'm getting myself into, but I apply as I go, so I, uh, I become obsessive. Forget music, forget that, I say I zone out, and wow. this is it. Like, wow. this, is, this is me, these are two things. That's one of the first things. The second thing is, I go straight to the big dogs. First thing I did was, when I first got, Don Jacobs. Then mm -hmm. Glenn Glasper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then, you know, mm -hmm. then we got Ron. Then we got all these other big guys, Mahar. Yeah. And then I go, I seek the help, and I go. I'm not yes. scared to do it, you know? Yes. I've yes. always applied that in anything that I've done, including network marketing companies. And, you know, Justin and Rico, if you guys are watching this, I align myself with the VP. I align myself with Carlton, you know, the, the vice, the marketing chief. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. these people is who I got. So here's the thing. And, 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 and maybe you can jump into it. Here's the thing. In... High school, in uh, in high school, maybe not so much in college, middle school, and that is known that if you brown nose, if you become the teacher's pet, <laughs> they make fun of you. So what happens is, in real life, mm -hmm. real life real estate investing, mm -hmm. or in real life, you the best thing to do is be with the top people, and then when they mm -hmm. see that you come in humble, but you come yes. in hungry, that's the best person. So I mean, if you want to work with us, I mean, that's those are two characteristics. I look. Humble because I know you're going to be coachable. Wow. You're not going to be this wow. arrogant ass that's going to be, oh, I'm not going to do that. And I'm like, look, do it because that's what I did. And you know what I'm saying? Right. And the second one, it, you know, is, is, um, I lost, I lost, I lost the. Hey, listen, you do a great, man. <laughs> you do a great. You know, but anyways, I lost the, I was going to hit a point so good, but I'll come back to it. Mm. And, but I mean, other than that, big dogs. And, and, and become obsessive with learning the game, the mm -hmm. skill. Mm -hmm. Become obsessive so much. You know, I've, down, I've gone to courses, seminars. I've paid my dues. Yes. And I'm still learning. Podcasts. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're always yeah. finding a way to learn more. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'll jump in. Yeah, you just have to have a go-getter mentality. You just have to go at it. I mean, when I was first got started in real estate, I was when I wasn't working at the clinic, I was out in the field, you know. And I was watching podcasts, listening to YouTube videos. I mean, there's so much information on YouTube. Yes, it's free mm -hmm. content that you can watch any given time instead of watching, you know, whatever yeah. TV shows you right, want to watch. Right, right, you, know. right. you can watch a real life real estate investing show every every week at noon. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, you just have to be invested. When I first got started, I mean, I was working at a clinic and I wanted to learn this business, you know, because I've seen other people having so much success and killing it. And I was like, you know, and I, and I believe if someone else has done it, there's no reason that I can't do it myself. Yeah. I'm not, you know, you got to have yes. the mindset that, yes. all right, there's no different than me, not the color of my skin, you right, know, right, you right. Know, race or anything. The reason I can't be successful like the next person. Absolutely. You just have to put in the work. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that, man. I love that. And that's the, that's the one thing that I always stand on and I, when I share things with people. If it's been done before, yeah. what makes it not plausible that anybody else could do it? You know what I mean? Absolutely. And that's the thing I think a lot of times people miss. Yeah, what we do is hard, yeah. but it's been done before. Yep. It's nothing It's nothing new under the sun, as right. they say, you right. know. Right. Um, but you guys are sharing some great stuff, and I, and I appreciate you guys sharing, you know, even the challenges. And I want to get a little more into yeah. that, you know, some, you know, maybe some specifics of a sure. deal or a couple of deals that you guys have done. Yeah, but right. that's what I really want to make sure people understand when they look at this business that we do. It's not an overnight you know, many people think about being an overnight success. Yeah, it took 20 years to right, get to be an right, overnight success. Right. You know, and you talk about podcasts. I mean, I'm 20 years in and I'm still learning. I still got uh, books on my desk that I'm still reading from time to time, Absolutely. you know, because the information is ever changing in what we do. Absolutely. You know, and there's there, there's certain things, even in contracts change, uh, certain things about deals getting done, you know, permitting, those kind of things, prices of Fixing fixing the property up, those kind of right, things change. Right. So we always have to be on the cutting edge of what's happening in our market. Right. So let's talk about some specifics of a of a deal that you guys were working on, that you may have had a, like a huge challenge. I mean, you said you guys lost a few deals. Tell us about a little more about some of that. Okay. So which one? Let's uh, talk about the first one, I guess. Um, you, the challenge, you know, with Teton. Yeah, yeah. You wanna do that one? Yeah. All right. All right. Who, who do we sell them to? <laughs> <laughs> who do we sell them to? Uh, oh, you Don't worry about asking. Just the challenge of the deal. The challenge you know. of the deal. How, 
Because <laughs> every man, every deal take, we've take done one. has a has a story. I'm, yes. I mean, and we've learned more from when deals didn't go right. I mean, no deal is going to go exactly perfect to plan. I mean, and we've that learned how to, on the next deal how to make more money or how to avoid that obstacle from our failures than success. And I think yeah, most you know entrepreneurs would tell you that you're going to learn more from your failures than you are from your successes. Absolutely. And, you know, just on our first deal, you know, um, it it was it was a unicorn. I mean, we. Found a, a a motivated seller who had a property in their name who never <laughs> even been to the state of Georgia before. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but um, somebody left the property to them, and they had all rights to sell the property only only them. Uh -huh. And um, they was getting letters from the city of Atlanta saying, "Hey, um, you know, there's there's getting fines and bench warrants for unmaintained property wow. and all types of stuff." And they bench lived in warrants. Nevada. Wow. They lived in <laughs> Nevada. So, wow. so, yeah, so, you know, we picked that one up with Driving for Dollars. Yep, Driving for Dollars. Driving for Dollars, we saw a beautiful four-sided brick, 1,800 square feet on Westview. Wow, wow. And, of course, we harvested that neighborhood. I mean, we kind of exploded that neighborhood. We wholesale so many deals mm -hmm. that we're Most currently being deals. rehabbed right now. Yeah. Wow, yeah, we wow. Had, we got hands in some projects. But, I mean, to go back to that, Drive for Dollars, Skip traced it. You know, then we say, okay, well, this is a corporation. We did our thing. We found out who the, mm. who the you know, the... CEO, agent, CFO, yeah, and all that, yeah. all that. Call the ladies like, I have no idea what you're talking about. You guys are crazy. Peace out. Like, no, <laughs> it's okay. Kelly did a fantastic job. He did a great job, actually, mm -hmm. at you know going back and say, well, no, 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 no. This is her. She says she confirmed that. Well, it's not my property, but I am getting like he said, the what the Let bench warrants. Let us know. So we're like, Dude, it's got to be hers. Dude, who has you know, you know, Titan. You know, named Tian, and she was very nice. Very unique name. <laughs> unique name, mm -hmm. very nice, lovely lady. You know, I have her on Facebook. She's probably uh, probably looking at this, you know, probably <laughs> watch it later on. Mm. But long story short, you know, Caleb called and said, no, look, let us work it out. If, if it is you, boom. So she told us, you know, hey, that's fine. We wanted to, you know, we, we were initially going to rehab the property. We ended up just wholesaling it afterwards to another investor, but either way. Mm. And, yeah, but that mm. was a challenge itself. Yes. Yeah, and also just the challenge um, of just building relationships in this business. Building relationships is super important. We had to build a relationship with this seller. We had to explain everything mm -hmm. to her, yeah. you know, the process of everything works. Mm -hmm. um, you know, build rapport with the sellers. We buy um, buying houses from these homeowners. <laughs> but a build relationship with the attorneys, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or contractors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that's very important. We didn't went through so many different attorneys mm -hmm. before we actually found the right one to yeah. work with or right ones to work with. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, just the challenge at the closing table that we got to in that particular deal is, uh, you know, a lot of deals we come across, they have taxes, back taxes owed, you know. Yeah, and solid yeah. waste. You know, yeah, solid waste. We didn't know what solid waste was. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> and there was a $10,000 lien for solid waste. Wow, wow. <laughs> so we got to the closing table and it was like, uh, so there's a $10,000 lien, who's going to take care of that? And we was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that was just wow. I'm so dealing now with we a seventy five thousand dollar water bill in Detroit. Wow. Yeah, so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So I mean it's just so we knew on the next deal. Hey, when we're doing the numbers, because if the deal was a real tight deal, mm -hmm. if we wasn't making sixteen, we was only making you know ten. Yeah. And it was ten thousand dollars solid waste. That's our profit. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. So it was good just to know those type of things, and um, so when you get do the next mm -hmm. deal. You know what to look for. I so you guys decided to eat the ten thousand dollar. Yeah, we too. I mean, oh, okay, I okay. Know. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. we didn't go to the yeah. bar and be like, hey, you take care of this. Right, 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 right. Uh, right. You know. And after we found out, yeah, yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, so the, another thing I can tell you guys that's helped me. This is a little nugget. I'll tell you guys a little secret. Mm -hmm. So I use social media as a place, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, okay, mm -hmm. of where I can document my history, I can document my events, I can document what I'm actually doing. Yes. I'm a yes. real person. So a lot of people miss the boat, and, and one way that I'm able to, one out of the many ways, uh, uh, that I'm able to connect with a seller and build that credibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. After we speak, I say, hey, you can Google my phone number. Wow. Google me. Wow. <laughs> Google, Google me. <laughs> <laughs> and they do it, and they said, holy shit, you're in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, uh, you got website. you got your own website. You're you're you. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I have people said I called you back because I said add me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. follow me on Facebook. Add me. You can see what we're doing. 
Wow. And then I also have wow. a company page for Facebook where we, you know, when we hit the closings, we put it there, and that's the page. I, you know, MrAndyBuysHouses.com. I link it to my Facebook page mm -hmm. on purpose. We're like, why don't you have an official website? Why would I need that? I'm not when you know if I'm going to wholesale property, I'm not going to blast it. I already know who wants it. Right. And right. as far as you know, right now I'm not bringing in new clients. We will be doing something in a systemized, like Kayla was saying, not only for mentoring but also bringing in green investors with cash and credit wow. in through a system wow. that's already built. It's already built. We're work, we're already in the system. We're making sure it works a hundred percent, even though it does work. But for ourselves, before we put anybody else on the line as well you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying yeah and yeah. and it's just bringing people in and getting them you know a percent whatever the case is but uh you know it's just build that credibility a lot of these folks out here trying to wholesale trying to talk to sellers backwards caps you know tank tops messier <laughs> cool but if i was a seller and you come at me you're gonna buy a house i'll be like you ain't got you're not no. you know what i mean but build that credibility um you know, and 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 it, that's worked for us. That's at least for me and my thing. People are like, oh, sh you're a real person. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, Definitely. I got so many tips and tricks. I had to guess that instant feedback from somebody doesn't know, but that's one of the ones that I relay them to my Facebook page. Definitely, real yeah. person. You know. I remember you said something to me about being. Um saying something about me good, being good with branding and marketing and stuff like that. And yeah. I'm looking at you now. I'm yeah. like, I don't know where he, where he got that idea about me. Because <laughs> he blowing me out the water. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. But no, you do, you do an excellent job with that. You know, I keep up with a lot of your stuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's phenomenal. You know, so. And so with Facebook, honestly, I had to shut it down. I mean, I had to turn down the videos, slow it down a bit because I was starting to get overwhelmed with all the influx of people wanting to learn mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. I, and at that point when you know when the whole house jerk came out you know just kind of went their way or whatever it was it became hard when i'm telling you dozens of people at a time please 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 so as i started answering and getting these conversations getting on the phone mm -hmm. i'm like well i, I just can't physically because i'm losing i can't i'm like i can't even win at my own game because i'm here trying to help right, so right, there right. wasn't a system of also i had to shut it down a little bit with the videos and stuff but but you know, we're working now, on the system now, so we're working on a full system now, mm -hmm. and also, you know, new image, new branding is coming. Good stuff. Uh, on our Good end, stuff. on both of our ends, and including, so we each have our individual company. Um, you know, when we do deals and stuff for different reasons, but mm -hmm. you know, we we're, we're a solid rock team. What I, we're, you know, we always consult. It's just I don't think in the last two years, year and a half, two years, I don't even think I've ever even. We've been even argued once. No. That's incredible. <laughs> Man, that yeah, is. I'm so thankful. That is Not even incredible. a disagreement. Really. Really, I just, wow! I'm very thankful. You just clicked. I mean, just, um, you know, you know, and that's that's you know that's something, and I admire you guys for that because that's something I think a lot of times it's missing, in people doing business together. You know, relationships. I mean, as Caleb mentioned, it's are, are very important. You know, yeah. we talk about this all the time. You know, a lot of us we get you know we talk about building relationships, having rapport with people, being able to create that bond. You know, but what you guys have created, yeah. like I said, it's you know I call you guys the dynamic duo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like brothers, and a lot of times we use that to our benefit honestly mm -hmm. uh, when we reaching our sellers yes play the, yes the good cop good cop or the bad cop good cop or the mm -hmm. hey um you know I'm looking you know I work with a builder who's your builder doc investments right good mm -hmm. stuff you know good stuff <laughs> Ford, actually you know, he just walked in hang on oh yeah. no, no no I'm not the decision maker I'm just calling a f Oh what no, no. you see okay. so we kind of so, so that's that's one of those nuggets they might have to pay for so we don't want we'll, we'll get yeah. oh, I got so many just oh my god it's just so many you know so many but yeah good stuff man um so we got some folks that are asking some questions yeah go over some um, questions pick your brain we have uh Rui Rui Beato what's up dude Rui. he says he says do you think there are too many wholesalers out there uh you want to answer <laughs> you go ahead all right that's so fine, I'm starting to see that a lot of people, so from my understanding, oh yeah, okay, so let's answer that first and I'll give you my input on that. Mm. They're starting, people are starting to get into wholesale because they think it's easy. Mm. It's simple. It's simple. Yes, 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 The concept yes, is simple. Yes. Find the distressed property, put on the contract, flip it to an investor, make the difference. Yes. Easy is simple. Yes, simple. Very but it's simple, not yeah. easy because mm -hmm. there's so many moving parts that have to play a part in that and that's what I try to tell people. So. Um, you know, wholesaling is actually the first step, one of the first stepping stones into real estate. So there is a lot of wholesalers out there, uh, Rui, but they're not they're not as bad as us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, was, and, 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 listen, and, it is what it is. No, but there's a lot of people out there that are really good, too. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they know the numbers, but most of these wholesalers out here now, 
they're not concerned about numbers. I get some people that send me deals. I'm like, I've told them, please don't send me any more deals. I'm not even looking at them. You're just bombarding my inbox because they don't. Have you, <laughs> with, have you been to the property? No. What do you mean? You're sending me a deal that you've never even been to the property. No, but just go out there and take a look at it. I'm not going to do that. Right, right. Okay. They want you to go look at it, but yeah. they've never looked at it. I'm not gonna do it. So, so they tell you to go. They tell you to do your own due diligence on the property like, that they've never, they've never seen. Like due diligence, <laughs> undue diligence. So all, all we need to evaluate if we're gonna lock <clears throat> it down because we have a few now. If mm -hmm. we're gonna lock it down, I just need pictures, maybe a quick video, mm -hmm. and give me a price. I'll run my comps, right? We'll run our own mm -hmm. comps. If the numbers make me make me, if the numbers make sense and the in the inside based on what I believe the repair could be, mm -hmm. I'm driving out to the property. I'm right, not gonna drive right, for right, fun. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's to the point yeah. where we've been doing it for two years. Is give us an address. We already know what the comps are. Just give me an address. Yeah. We already know like yeah. the address. Okay, cool. Yeah. Pretty much know yeah. what the ARV is. You know how much you're asking. Absolutely. You know, we'll Absolutely. go take a look at the repairs and whatnot. But yeah, he says he asking is there too many wholesalers? I mean. I don't know if he's asking if there's a lot of competition or whatnot. The way we look at it is, I mean, you put in the work, you know, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have success. And you know, for I guess the buyers out there who are actually fixing and rehabbing, now, you know, that's more wholesalers mean more deals coming in for them. And Definitely. Atlanta is a huge market. Yeah. Huge market. Yeah. So many leads and potential, you know, deals to be found in this market. So I'm not really worried about the competition aspect of it. We're gonna mm -hmm. put in the work and we're gonna get results. Um, but yeah, I'm not even worried. We have scriptures over what five over seven hundred houses. Oh, well, in our, in our, in our follow, database, in our database know, we have like over two thousand, two thousand leads. But um, yeah, over two thousand yeah. leads. But uh, the only thing is, there's <laughs> a lot of wholesalers, but not a lot of good wholesalers. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. a lot of times, you know, like lately, so we've been getting a lot of sellers. Hey, I've got multiple offers from all these other people, and uh -huh. you know, a lot of times we're not the highest offer. Right. I'll be no. like, oh, you got an offer? You know, the most we can pay is 75. And like, I got an offer at 95. I'm like, oh, great. Take that offer. It's a great mm -hmm. offer. Take we, it. We can't do anything about it. Right. Take the a offer. week later, they call us back. Hey, um, they couldn't close something about financing. <laughs> it just happened right now. Yeah, just <laughs> Made so. up a story about getting robbed. <laughs> 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 that happened last week. Seller said, yeah, um, her husband got robbed and... We don't have the. They don't have the financing now. Really, just, wow. whole bunch. I was like, oh, wow. okay. Do you, are you still interested? Yeah, but um, I'm gonna need it at my price. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Um, yeah. exactly. And there's a way. Write there's, it up. there's a way, and I probably, I probably, you know, say it offline or whatever. How to discredit the people? I mean, it works like a charm because I just want to bid mm -hmm. at somebody that offered 55 and 65, and I offer 45, and I got the deal mm -hmm. rather than these two others. There's it's a been way. relationship and report. Very much yeah. relationship report. Mm -hmm. Certain tactics certain techniques certain verbiage that i that i can relate with the seller mm -hmm, okay mm -hmm. and uh and yes and but there's ways to discredit those people that are offering that high that high of a of an amount i have no idea they just want to lock it down yeah and yeah. they're going to come and renegotiate to you know negotiate at the closing table negotiate down after wow. and we're going to end up at the same place wow so you let them know that and I said you rather be transparent and i'll tell you why and this is why I'm offering this price because this is how much is in repairs. This is how much we're going to sell it for. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we're in it to make this amount of percentage. If not, nobody's doing this for free. Absolutely. And the only person Absolutely. that's going to buy a house like this is an investor. And investors, majority of times, go by the same formula. Yes. So I'm not sure what they plan on doing or how, but... Real uh, investors. Real investors. Go by the same formula. <laughs> go by the same formula. Absolutely. So it's, how, it's, different, it's different tactics that we've... Trial and error. Yeah. Trial and error. I mean... I might have heard it on a podcast and it works. It's just, I tweaked one word in my call. Mm -hmm. And I'm not telling you guys what that is. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's just one verbiage that I switched mm -hmm. and I get them on the phone without them hanging up. Wow. And we've been wow. using that and it makes them feel comfortable because we don't come in on the aspect as this big investment firm. Mm -hmm. Why? Big investment firms. Oh, they just want to pick on the little guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, they mm -hmm. just want, they, oh, they, that's the, the target market that we're targeting, 70 years old. These are 60s. these houses, wow. 60s and 70s. Wow. They wow. need somebody there. I've gone as far as driving. Right now, I'm working on a deal. It's just this headache. And this was actually with another partner for the last nine, 10 months. Mm -hmm. And I've been, I've driven the guy back and forth, the, the, the elderly man. I've become friends with him. I text him. Wow. He texts wow. me, hey, God bless you, all this. We're still working through a probate. And, you know, I'm hoping that we close that one soon. Yeah, you've been mm. working on this for a year now? For almost a year. Wow. Sometimes deals take that long. And it wow. Took one of our, our biggest deal we closed took eight months to close. Yeah. Wow. But the lady told me, 
I am interested in selling. It took her eight months to sign the contract. Wow. But eight months later, it was our biggest deal we've, yeah. we've made. Really? In two years. Yeah. And also, <laughs> so, and also so that well, so that deal you're saying it took eight months to get her to sign sign the contract, and then eight months to close. No, no, no. no. Mm. Oh, okay. From the time she said she was interested in selling her house, it took her eight months to sign the contract. Yeah. Mm. It took I don't know thirty days to close. Okay, she okay. It. But yeah. you know, um, we just I followed up with her every single week. Every week. You wow. know, I came her friend, wow. and he sent her pictures. <laughs> video. Yeah. She knew who we were before we even met, you know. Right, right, right. We had a good relationship. Yeah. That's but, good you know, stuff. It's just, that's why I just talk about being consistent, you know, in this game and being patient. Well, you said something. You said something. There are good wholesalers. When when he asked the question if there are a lot of wholesalers, you said there are good wholesalers and then there are not so good wholesalers. <laughs> we, won't, we won't say that there's any bad wholesalers out no. there. <laughs> Well, we won't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, what would you say the difference is, is, what would you consider a difference, like a major difference, or maybe even a small difference between a good wholesaler and a not-so-good wholesaler? Knowing your numbers. I mean, mm -hmm. knowing mm -hmm. what your investors want. I mean, a lot of times, a lot of our deals, we want to stay between the 60 and 70% ARV, which is after repair value for you guys who don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to stay between 65 and 70, and 70%. Very, very high areas. Obviously, you can go up to 75%. Yes. But we want to make sure, you know, it's a good deal for our end buyer, our end investor, who's going to actually take on responsibility in the work of fixing the house up. Wow. So, yeah. you know, wow. if you stay within those numbers, you know, you, you can't, you know, you can't lose. Yeah. Understand, at least be able to estimate the repairs. If you can't hire a contractor out there, don't yeah. say a house is, just guess and say, oh, this house looks like 40000 when it's really 100000 Right. It's a full gut rehab. Right. <laughs> so it's so, just doing so the research. This is at the point, you know, and, and you know, I'm I'm a real man. Let me keep it one hundred. Yeah. This is at the point of the show that I'd like to really hug both of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because what you're talking about is major issues that I talk about all the time. Absolutely. But I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, no, man. I I'm just you know yeah. I mean it's just really so about knowing your tissue. numbers though. <laughs> <laughs> knowing your numbers, uh, you know, repairs, being able to estimate the repairs, you know. And uh, it's making a, making sure that everybody wins. Make sure mm -hmm. the seller wins. Making sure your buyer wins. Most importantly, and if you do that, you're gonna win. To win, win. <laughs> yeah. You was at you was at the state of wholesale in the first order. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I'm always at your events. <laughs> win, win, win. I always, uh, you know, I love that. True. I love that. Something, Good stuff. Something I learned <laughs> when I was in network marketing, they said that the product is really not the product. The product is people. Is the people. So absolutely. Learn people. Absolutely. So in my pitch, in my phone call, I usually cover the four personalities. Get them, Andy. Get them. Four personalities. <laughs> because I know that I'm going to touch base in one of the personalities. Absolutely. And we, absolutely. And we tried and true and tested. And there's a, there's a specific way that, that we, there's a reason why. And they, they never have an objection to it because I answer the questions. That's another thing I learned, another training I bought, yes. which is helps me out in real life. It happens to help me out in real estate, especially on the phone or with talking with people. People are the product. Learn them what they want. You know, what is, how are they thinking? What's their personality? If they are, if they are a person that cares, that is a caring person, don't mm. talk to them about money. They don't give a shit about money. Right, they don't care right, about money. Right, right. See what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't care about money. They care about love. What do they care about? I'm going to beautify the neighborhood. Yes. I'm going to fix the yes. house, yes. leave the memory yes. on, and put a family in there that can enjoy the same house that you guys have had once upon a time. Man. And they said, you got it. This, listen, listen, let me, let me, let me, let me take a, let me take a pause right here. And I'm going to say you because uh, y'all going to compete with me now. <laughs> no, no, let me take a pause right here. So I'm, I'm going to share this. Now, I, of course, I was in real estate investing before I got involved in network marketing. Yeah. But I always tell people that as much of an entrepreneur as I was before, I became a part of network marketing. Yeah. I never really understood how to run a business. Right. Mm -hmm. But when I became a part of network marketing is when I understood how to truly run a business. Absolutely. And that part about dealing with people and the different personalities was a major part of how my business has changed over the time since I've been involved in network yeah. marketing. So for those of you that want to want to be successful at real estate inv investing, join a network marketing company. Yeah. And, I, and I'm saying that training. here's the, the, crazy, training here's the training. craziest thing. That now people might laugh because I said that. That's actually a phrase in the rich dad poor dad book. Yes, people and don't Donald get Trump that. Too. Donald Trump says said if, if he you lost everything, had to start over, that he would start actually with a start with a network marketing yes. company. Yes, the best training platform there is. And and you think about it, and people get caught up in the concept 
and they talk about, oh, that's a scam. But what they miss is for that, what is it, 200, 300 bucks, you get to hang out with VPs. You get to hang out with VPs, you get to hang out with millionaires that you pick their brains and you learn. Listen, my my multimillionaire, uh, if she watches this, my multimillionaire uh, 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 mentor called me yesterday. And I was talking to one of my partners, and she was saying, she was, she was teasing me how I was on the phone saying, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. And, and she said, well, you would say yes, ma'am, to everything she said. And I said, if a multimillionaire calls your phone, you're going to say, yes, you gonna say yes, ma'am. <laughs> absolutely, 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 absolutely. Absolutely, good stuff. I'm, I'm about, I, was, I was just excited about the stuff that y'all yeah. shared, man. So. That has helped us crucial. Learn the personalities. Guys, if you're scared of negotiating, if you don't know how to negotiate, Find videos on YouTube, buy a course about negotiations. Yes. All right. I don't like talking to people. Well, guess what? TTP, talk to people is the only way to make money. Absolutely. People, money Absolutely. doesn't come from anywhere else but people. Definitely. People are the ones that have the money. So why are you avoiding talking to people? I, I can't stand people and say, I just can't deal with people. I can't deal with people. I said, well, you're missing out. I can't deal. Yes. Like, literally, you're missing out because money comes from people. And if you learn the people skill... If you learn the people, yes. Yes. the other day, the other day we went to uh, we went to uh, just be real quick. We, we had gone to a little spot, a little nightlife spot uh, on Sunday mm -hmm. for Labor Day weekend. This Sunday, long story short, was over a hundred people in the line. It was super exclusive. Wow. Okay. Wow. Happens to be that I had built this small, just just relate, just like a friendship with the guy at the door mm -hmm. from the last two or three times that I had gone previously. Hey man, good to see you again. How you feeling? Great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I'll see you next time. That's it. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know his name. I just know him as Thor because he has his hair like that. But okay. stand up, dude. <laughs> I get there and I tell I tell my people. I said, "We're not making that line. Guess what we're doing?" I park the car right there in the via, in the in the park. I get off and I say, "Hey, man," and I come on, "Hey, bro, this is this is crazy. What's going on here?" I said, "Look, I got two dates that you know never been here. I got my 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 other friend. Don't worry about it. how many four come right in." So it's all about I was connection. Say, I, I know you wouldn't stand. You wouldn't stand a lot. Right? <laughs> so, but I say that. I say that because it's all about the connection. How you treat someone. How you make them Absolutely. feel. Absolutely. And if you make them, I always make. I'm always smiling at people. This is mm. some secrets that I'll tell you guys about about connection. Um, Definitely. Especially on the phone. In the phone, I'm always smiling. You know, people feel that. You know, because I a lot of the, most of the deals we get is through phone. Yes. But now yes. people are you know people are starting to recognize this a little bit more and more and more. So they send us deals, and if it works, great. We'll, we'll JV the deal all day. Let me yes. plug your story to real estate. Yeah. So hi, Andy says building relationships with people like uh, we've closed deals from neighbors. And oh, wow. <laughs> from neighbors. I'm wow. gonna tell, say that one. Say tell your story. Say that one. We was in the Westview neighborhood, um, standing outside of a house, and we're just looking at this house, huge house, and we're like, wow. If we can pick this house up, we can make some money. Yeah. Me and Angie stand outside say, the house. You should say which house it is. I would say it. <laughs> what, what's that? On South Gordon? Yeah, only on South Gordon, when the hottest streets in Westview. Mm. So a lady wow. rides by in a red truck. Oh, but do you want to <laughs> say that before the how? Okay, no, no. It's finished. And then <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> so okay. before, we couldn't find the owner. We could only find the daughter of the owner. Mm, the mm. daughter's like, my mom doesn't want to sell this house. She don't want anything that, you know. She's going to keep the house and give it to me. Mm. <laughs> That's what the daughter was hoping at. Here's a tip. <laughs> don't li if the owner don't tell you they don't want to sell, don't listen to family members. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> keep <laughs> calling until the owner tells you they don't want to sell. Get in contact with the owner. So, so like I was saying, we're standing outside the house. Red truck rides by. Backs up and like, y'all guys want to buy that house? Mm. He's like, yeah. <laughs> so next thing you know, I know the owner. Let me call her. Let me call her. Mm. Calls the owner up. Starts negotiating on our behalf. Wow. Price and everything. Hey, these guys are serious. They want to buy the house. Your house is, you know, falling apart. You just need to sell this thing. Mm -hmm. 30 days later, we closed the deal. Wow. <laughs> From wow. building a relationship with a, with a neighbor, you know, in the neighborhood. And, um, and since then, that same lady has given us three more deals yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that wow. we've closed. That so cool. a lot of times we're out and about, uh, we speak to people out watering their grass, um, cutting their lawn. Hey, how's it going? You know, we give them a business card. Hey, you know, we, we'll pay you a fur bonus, thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks. You know, just you know, um, if you know anybody that. who wants to sell in the neighborhood, you know, give us a call. 
Yeah. We've closed many deals like that. Many. We did one wow. of the that's, that's a real nugget right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all had to pay for that's that one. Another, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, See, that's why you watch this show, nice. because I, I'm i able to get them to get a free stuff away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look, another thing, money. Money makes the world go around. Money makes people move. It mm -hmm. gets them excited, especially if you're in a neighborhood. Uh, like, you know, these neighborhoods in Southwest Atlanta, mm -hmm. you reach out to a neighbor, $500 to $1,000 by giving me the name of somebody that wants to send, we close. Yeah, yeah. That, to them, is crucial. So we actually, we had closed one in, on North Olympian that uh, we're working on with Tarek and another partner uh, as far as the rehab. And the one across the street, as we're coming out of that one, mm -hmm. the girl, the lady in front says, oh, y'all finally got, yes, thank you, guys finally closed it after a year. That was, oh, that wow. was, oh, my wow. God. It took us like six months to close that one. That one, I would like to tell you guys how we overcame that one. Oh, yeah, tell us that, about it. Tell us about it. A lot of challenges and how we sued the company, the mortgage company, and how we beat, we Wow. Crazy squatters. Wow. Oh, my God. The <laughs> house went to a tax sale before. The squatter knew. They didn't want to tell us because we didn't realize about that. Oh, this house was already going to tax sale. Wow. So anyway, wow. But before we jump onto that, I'll tell you, we're coming out of that house once we close on it. And the neighbor in front says, hey, you guys, so glad you guys are fixing it. By the way, uh, you know, I know the neighbor wants to sell this one for X amount of money. We said, oh, what? So she goes, yeah, give us the number. Mm -hmm. Said, hey, $500 to $1,000 referral. We close. Wow. And lo and behold, the guy, sh the guy says, you guys are there? Say, we'll buy it for right now at this price. We just want to see it. The guy says, I'll be there in an hour. So we went to eat lunch, came back, signed the contract on the spot. On the spot. We closed in 14, 21 days, mm -hmm. which actually was another situation with that one, too, as far as the funding. But we made it happen. Wow. And, wow. and we went back, and all honest truth, and Kayla and I, you know, we... We take care of, we took care of the lady. She was forever thrilled. Then, get, then referred us to her sister, which we had on the contract. We were gonna, we had on the contract in what, what was it, uh, Westmead? No, not Westmead. No, was Oakland it? City. Oakland so City. She referred us another deal. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. So, anyways, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Money makes the world go. Look, mm. I've learned. She calls me still to this day. Calls me, hey. I seen it for sale by owner sign, or hey, really? my cousin, or <laughs> never went to sell, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal, cool. phenomenal stuff, yeah. man. Y'all, listen, y'all share some major stuff, man. We got some folks that are joining us. Uh, the grind guy, Mr. John Stafford, thanks, yeah. thanks for tuning in. We've closed a few deals with John. Yeah, we've closed stuff, about three deals in the last so, so, and so John won't, won't close a deal with me. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what it is. I'm, 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 I'm going to call him out. John, we got to close a deal, man. Before this year is over, we got to close a deal. We're going to make it happen. Actually, John, John's, you know, John's part of my squad anyway. He, oh, I, okay. I send all of my deals to him, so okay. him and his team, they get, they work them out. They get it done. Yeah. Does. John is awesome. John yeah. gets it done. So, uh, let's see. Do you have any questions? Uh, somebody else had hey, a question. Hey, what's up? Faye, Mar Faye Martin Lee. says, uh, skip tracing recommendations, recommendations that are more accurate in finding the owner. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll be transparent. We use, we use TLO. I've okay. had it for almost a year and a half. Got it, got it. I ran through hoops to get it. It's very hard to get approved for it. I mean, long story short, you know, build the debt collectors, uh, debt collection company agency, and then apply for it. <laughs> but no, I'm just... I mean, but, yeah, we use TLO. I mean, um, it's top of the line, LexisNexis, some of the other ones, top of the mm -hmm. line. Um, but those are expensive, you know. Very expensive. Mm -hmm. Per month, I mean. Very expensive. But uh, some other free ones, I mean... People find her, white pages premium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've had uh, some guys that I've been mentoring. They've closed deals just off of those, you know, the free ones. Really, really. We pay, mm -hmm. you know, high price for the monthly ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yep. yeah. It's so. a high price. You want, you want to tell, it, tell her how much the high know, price is? Like hundreds. About 500 a month or whatever. Yeah. Wow. Plus, plus searches. Wow. Yeah, so wow. a dollar a click and then a, a flat monthly as well. And it just adds up. We skip trace a lot for, yeah. And you guys do all this work yourself? We do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you wow. Know, we grind, put in the work. I we mean, grind, put in the work. watch very little TV. I mean, you know, we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to scale and grow a business. So, you mm -hmm. know, we just put in the work. Um, wow. And I want to tell you about uh, one of the guys I, I trained. He was a senior in college. Mm -hmm. And he hit me, he's one of my frat brothers. hit me up and said, hey, I want to learn how to do real estate. His name is Sean. And mm -hmm. I said, well, you're going to be in Atlanta for the summer. I mean, I'll show you what I know. And. Maybe we'll close the deal. Why? I said, I know we're going to close the deal. Did I meet Sean? Might have met Sean, yeah, at a Ramon event maybe or it was, maybe it your was, event. I think, I'm, I think I met Sean before. Yeah. I think he might have. Did he come to an event with, with you I'm at? Sure he's, I'm pretty sure he did. Okay, okay, okay. But, I think I did meet him. You know, mm -hmm. he, he, you know, he's on college break, and, you know, he just wanted to learn real estate and make some money. 30 days, he closed, well, 
He closed his first deal in 30 days. Before he went back to school, he had closed two more deals, 45 to wow. 60 days. This, wow. Wow. He, you know, he used smoke. the free software, you know, if he mm. couldn't find a homeowner, we used our software, but, you know, he's straight, you know, one of the marketing techniques, that, you know, that we use, cold calling. Mm. He was hungry. It's cold calling. Vacant, vacant lead list. Hungry. Wow. You know wow. what I remember? That was sort of was hungry and humble. And yes. He was both. And I love that kid. Yes. And, yes. And he, yes. Told, he said, I need to make money. I need to uh, fix. He had an issue with his car. He said, I just can't. Yeah, he couldn't even. He couldn't even meet up with us. He couldn't even meet up with us. Wow. So he, was doing, he said, wow. I got to do what it takes. He picked up the phone. We told him what to say. Boom. Deal, deal, deal. I said, don't worry about driving. We'll, we'll take care of all the numbers, everything. We'll get the contract. You get your check. So, yeah. And even good to this day, stuff, I mean, um, where I, I'm actually going to meet with a homeowner tomorrow morning that, you know, he's found. He's back in college now, still working. So, he's, mm. you know. He made, what, good nine, stuff. nine to 10,000 yeah. in like 60 days. Yeah. Wow. That's not Wow. That's not First bad. time. Not bad. <laughs> wow. Mm. Bad? Not bad yeah. at all. And I not tell you, people all. who still work in the nine to five jobs, and you know, I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I quit, you know, working at the clinic to do this full time. And Andy, you know, yeah. he, he didn't yeah. have other job, yeah, and it's true. a lot easier to devote your time when you don't have another job. But even if you do mm -hmm. have a nine to five, you have to, you know, when you get home from work, put in the work. I mean, yeah. on the yeah. week, on, Saturday, on the Sunday, from work, exactly. <laughs> put in the work. To, the deal that we're we had it closing at uh, one thirty today, <laughs> mm, yeah. and that's from um, a, a, another uh, investor of ours we're working with. You know, she she found me on Instagram from a video we did. It was like, hey, I see you're doing big things in the Atlanta real estate market. I want to learn. I brought her in, showed her some of the skills that we were doing. Thirty days later, today is his, his, you know going to be her first deal. Wow, yeah. wow. And um, she stuff. works nine to five. So, but when she get off from work, she's hitting it. Saturday, Sundays, she's hitting it. Mm. So, I mean, just tell people, put in the work, I mean, the results will follow. Yeah, good nothing, stuff, nothing wrong stuff. with the 9 to 5. I mean, 9 to 5s are cool, you get a guaranteed check, I get it. But if you're anything like us, anything like me at least, I'll just speak for me. I mm. love time free for five days and I've been enjoying the, the, I've been enjoying the summer to the fullest. I still have money in the bank. I, we're still popping deals, you know, and, and, and it's that time freedom, you know, mm -hmm. that I enjoy. It's the time freedom. I value time more. Than, than money and anything else in this world, enough to spend time with the loved ones. That's what I enjoy. And Good now stuff. I'm going to start traveling more officially, but not until we, yeah. we're, we're figuring something yeah, out. Yeah, so we're looking to scale our business. Um, we've been wholesaling you know, successfully, so successfully for the last year and a half. Now we're getting into the fixing and flipping. Mm -hmm. and um, So we're just trying to build a whole wholesale team and you know business. Got it, you got know. it. Because a lot of people don't realize wholesaling, they take it as a hobby, and that's why they're not successful. But wholesaling is actually a business. You have mm -hmm. to market for leads yes. and deals, and, you know, yes. and if you have to put in the work yourself. If not, you know, hire people, you know, or train people, um, independent contractors or other investors to work with you. To that point, somebody just asked, what marketing do you use, uh, direct mail, and which list do you use? Which list service do you use? Is that right? Um... So our main marketing is driving for dollars and cold calling. We've mm -hmm. done some bandit signs. We're going to ramp up with the bandit signs a little bit more. Eventually, we'll get into direct mail. But uh, but cold calling and driving for dollars has been our main so marketing. Yeah. So the call the, the the homeowners that we've closed and several several of them when we either go to the house or we speak to them, they said, you know, we ran into like that lady that we bought house on South Gordon as well said there's a stack of <coughs> postcards and stuff mm -hmm. that she just she kind of even looked at him and said I don't even believe I don't even you're the first person that actually called me and had a conversation with me and these I don't see a face I don't hear a voice I don't know what this is so I've heard the same thing from multiple sellers that said I get them all the time I'm already immune to them wow I'm already immune wow. to them that I'm not gonna you know may, they might have called one one of those postcards, the conversation might have gone bad, and now they associate all the same postcards to do the same thing. So we haven't done it yet like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like mm -hmm. you said, cold call. But uh, the cold call, it, it, it's tough. You got to have a tough stomach. Oh, yeah. I've got to oh, yeah. yell that. I get screamed at, but to me, the way I see it is, I can get screamed at all day long for a five thousand dollar check. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, uh, uh, who was that posted? I think it was uh, Cottrell, who po Cottrell yeah. Sims posted something. Uh, uh, his cold calling. The, the seller said, uh, if we were interested in selling, we would list it or something like that. I listened to his video, uh, but it was it was so funny. Uh, but it's it's so much of that that uh, happens uh, when you're cold uh, calling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, we have. She asked, Charisse. which list service 
Which list service do you use? So we're not using any list service. We drive for dollars. Get our own okay. leads. I, okay. We get our own leads by driving for dollars, either us, and personally, we farmed <coughs> heck ton. And Southwest we've literally Atlanta. farmed, Southwest Atlanta has been officially skip traced <laughs> by, like, that we have in our- Majority in our, of neighborhoods. Majority <laughs> of the neighborhoods, street by street. I, like, you tell me right now, if, it, if it's going to the tax sale, I already, I've already spoken to our owner. Wow. See so you know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, I already mm. have it done. I have a system. I go back. I know how have <coughs> the notes. You know, and these are things I'll tell you because most people are not organized. I have notes on what exactly what we spoke about, mm -hmm. when we spoke about, the phone number, the name, family, anything we spoke about, and I go back to them. And at any given time, you know, whether it's Ashview, Center Hill, uh, West End, Westview, Oakland City, Grove Park, you know, all these in the southwest, northwest area, we've pretty much gone street by street, skip, street by skip. Now, there's some that you just can't find. I don't spend mm -hmm. too much time on them, but I put them on the back burner because those are gold. Definitely, if I can't definitely. find them, and I'm heck of a good, and Caleb is, we're fire and finding people, and like, we find you. I have other, other places, like detectives, like I can find you. Then if I can't find you, that means nobody's, nobody really has it. So <laughs> yeah. we'll focus on those afters, but got we'll it. make some money and keep it moving momentarily. Okay, so I want to I wanna do, I got one other question related to that, but I want to um, do a pause for the calls. Uh, for you guys, don't forget this Saturday we're doing FICO into a fortune where we're going to actually be talking about how to turn your credit into money. So where you can actually talk about where we're going to be telling you how to get good credit, how you get your credit increased, and not only how to get your credit increased, when you, if you have good credit, you can actually get funding to be able to do real estate investing or start a small business. But we're real estate investors, so that's what we're going to teach you. Um, so definitely check that out this coming Saturday, September 8th, from 11, 30, 11 a.m. to 1.30 at Coconut Grill in Norcross. So now that I've got that part out of the way, um, somebody asked me the question the other day, um, why are there still a lot of properties around the Beltline and near the Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Why are those? Why okay. there's still a lot of oh, properties around? Buying city as well. So yeah. what happens is, as <clears throat> as all these wholesalers start raising, you know, a lot of wholes. Well, first off, there's still a lot of properties because one, either we're not, either they're not being. Uh, it's not that they're being targeted. They're being targeted one way or another. Direct mm -hmm. matter because mm -hmm. it is what it is. Buying yeah. city, of course. Um, a lot of times these sellers get multiple calls, and you know these wholesalers they outbid each other. And so these sellers have these ideas now at some point, depending on which areas, but they'll be like, oh, no, no, somebody offered me 80 when you the maximum I'll allow for is 60. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand that people offer 80 to get it off the market, and then they bring you down with an inspection report. It's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> you know what I mean? But so there's just ways. But, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of a lot of them say, I'm going to hold it. I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these people, and a lot of them. Like, Swing forth to appreciate, I mean. Yeah. Or sentimental value. Sentimental value. It's right. going to come a time. I mean, we've. Had people tell us no, no, they don't want to sell. Then you know, three months, six months, a year later, they want to sell. So it's just all about timing, timing. and opportunity. Um, but a lot, of, they might be be holding out for the belt line to finish, or mm -hmm. just the air to appreciate. Yeah. You know, so just you know, <laughs> Got true. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's that's really what you know. What I believe from what I you know we've seen and heard. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh yeah, listen. One other thing. Uh, thanks for giving me that. That information. Uh, don't forget to check out Catalyst on Tuesday at Maggiano's Buckhead. Let me make sure I got Buckhead right. Is it Buckhead? Okay, at Maggiano's Buckhead from 11:30 to 1:30. And Mike Braswell tells me to make sure you guys come out. I will be out there. We'll be out there. 11:30 to 1:30. Uh, and the the topic is how to determine property values. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good stuff. Great, good great. stuff. I believe he's got got a, an, an appraiser going to be speaking on how to determine Perfect. property values. Oh, wow. That is very very necessary for a lot of times people miss how to determine property values and what appraisers actually look for sure. and that's helpful in determining what it's going to cost to fix up a property right. you know so you know the type of material and things of that course. you're going to have to get um so i think we're we're being told that our time is running out okay. oh, so really? listen tell <laughs> tell the folks how to get in contact with you and give us a a, a parting some parting words of wisdom awesome you know? yeah. all right so uh, you guys can reach out to me directly on Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram and uh, send me a message and then I'll send you my, my direct cell number. I mean, I can say hey, you probably wouldn't even write it down anyways. Or I'll just text <laughs> it into the comments, actually. That's what I'll do. Okay. Uh, Good I prefer you guys text me on Messenger because uh, I get so many text messages and calls that I just can't pick up if I'm doing something and I don't know and just be jammed up. Long story short. That doesn't happen to busy people, does it? <laughs> I, you know, you know um, I mean, I'm willing to help. 
and I'm I'm also looking. We're also looking for for again humble and hungry people that want to learn the real estate game, but are willing to you know man up on the calls. It's really the help we need. I don't need. We really don't need any help at this moment. Anything mm -hmm. else? Right now, I mean. Driving for dollars, I sure. Need, no. I need some help. I need some but, help. Get in contact with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, other than that, I'll just tell you, stay sharp, stay bright, um, continue to educate yourself. Educate yourself and find a mentor. And mentors has is, is been my secret to success this whole time. I mean, I lost it all 10 years ago, and that's another mm. story. Literally zero credit, bank account, cars. Wow. Went away for a while. Came back and built everything what I have, you know, just got a brand new car. I got two new cars. I mean, it just is incredible the life that now, because I don't take excuses. I don't, I don't like excuses. I was just talking mm. uh, this morning with uh, Caroline. But anyways, guys, don't form excuses. It's time to act. Do it right now. Reach out to a mentor. You know, if it's a fit, it's a fit. If it's not, hey, you know, I'm sure they'll tell you what you need to get, you know, what level you need to get on study that material and then come back and then you'd be ready for them you know whatever absolutely. the case is absolutely i'm actually working with a gentleman like that kind of going through that process he probably he probably doesn't like me very much but he's going through a process sure. and I, I think he can appreciate it absolutely. you know well first thing i had him you know pick out a book to read and that absolutely. kind of stuff you know so but uh yeah they can find me on facebook send me a message instagram my name is caleb ford underscore i'm um, pretty easy to find you know if you want to I guess work with us or how we can partner with you. Um, that's how you can find us. But I think Andy covered a lot of points. But I would just say, uh, just you know, if you want to do this JV. business, you know, be hungry. I mean, be ready to put in the work. I mean, it's not going to be, like we said, it's simple, but it's not easy. So um, be yeah. ready to go. Yeah, and another thing, another thing real quick, you know, we're always willing to JV. I'd, I'd rather have a little bit than nothing. And we have a big list of buyers that really buy. So, yeah. I mean, we can JV. Uh, this rock, either we put some on top or we JV 50-50. I'll bring the buyer, you bring the, you know, bring the buyer, bring the seller. Perfect. But yeah. And we mm -hmm. also, I mean, we're working on a program, like Andy said earlier, with people who have cash, you know, or credit, you know, and um, we're getting them into deals, fix and flips. I already have a system set up. So, I mean, if you want to know more about that, if you just work a, you know, if you already have a job and don't have the time to actually get into investing, you know, we have a system set up or a streamlined, you know, on an app and, you know, you can be able to fix and flip, and you know it's like they see on HGTVs. <laughs> yeah. You know, keep don't it say down. HGTV on here. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what most people think about. You I'm know, just but, kidding. You know, no, it's, but nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. <laughs> but, look, you know. that's why real life real estate was invested. Real real life real estate investing was born because yeah. of HGTV. You know, but um, tell us your first of all. I want to get, tell us your uh, Instagram and your Facebook. Got it. Again. So my Instagram is Andy underscore Arietta. So usually on my Instagram, you guys will see my day-to-day -day behind the scenes, uh, my out, you know, what I do for real in life. Like aside, Facebook as well. I, again, I'm gonna be doing something else. So I've been slowed down on that. Facebook is uh, Facebook.com/slash Mr. Andy Arietta, and that's M R Andy Arietta. Go straight to my handle, and I uh, also have uh, Mr. Andy uh, Buys Houses .com Will lead you to my business Facebook page. Can you tell the folks your your uh, contact information? Again? Yeah, it's Caleb Ford. Um, Instagram is Caleb Ford underscore or um, dot com solutions dot com. So yeah, and somebody asked somebody asked a question to uh, repeat your names. This is Andy Arietta. Arietta, am I saying yep. that right? That's okay, because right. you, you said it Mr. a little. Mr. Andy, Mr. Andy Arietta. Arietta. Okay, I got to make sure I say it properly. <laughs> and Mr. Caleb Ford. Caleb's with a K, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Some people spell it with a C, so yeah. I want to make sure they have the proper information to connect with you guys. What I'll do is I'll post it here on the on the comments. I've been look, trying to see the the questions, so I'll just post it here as well. Too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good stuff. And then only that if. Um, if you guys are watching this, then you probably have seen their names and the information above, so they're right up. And you can actually click on the link and click get and right to it. their page. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, guys, thank you so much you so for much being here today. Thank you very thank much. You so much. I appreciate you guys. Uh, listen, I do the best I can to hang out with superstars as much as possible. <laughs> you know, I get a whole free hour to hang out with guys <laughs> like this. <laughs> Y'all doing some major stuff, though, man, thank and I appreciate you guys coming out, definitely. So, listen, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget Catalyst on Tuesday. Don't forget Real Life Real Estate Investing or FICO into a Fortune on Saturday. Uh, what's happening? Um, tonight, Stacey Rossetti is at South Atlanta Rio tonight with Life in Air.
I don't know. I'm gonna miss it because I'll be at uh, the Painted Duck celebrating my birthday. <laughs> oh, listen, that was it's one of the birthday. first things I was supposed to mention. I had that it's in the back good. of my it's mind. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank listen, thank you, give us some likes. Give us some. Hey, listen, go ahead into the comments. Say happy birthday to my man 34, Andy. 34, 34. I feel good. I feel 34 I'm years old. <laughs> I'm very excited. And, and listen, very happy. in great shape, man. I'm inspired. Listen, <laughs> I ain't had nothing to eat today because of this, <laughs> because of this guy right here. I'm probably not gonna eat for a week because of him. <laughs> Thank Listen, you, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, next week, we are here live again with Dwayne Murray. So definitely check that out. Dwayne is a superstar in the game as well. He's quiet and he's humble, but he's he's a quiet storm is what he is. Uh, okay. <laughs> so thank you all for tuning in, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week. See ya.